Well, many of you may know Bob Hammer. He's a two-time testicular, testicular cancer survivor who appeared on Cron for several times. He's pictured here with uh, Tour de France champion Lance Armstrong, who, of course, is also a cancer survivor. And I uh, also want to introduce you to Bob's family, his wife, Kim, uh, children, Shana and Josh. Now, what you may not know is Josh would not be here today. If Bob underwent scheduled surgery several years ago. Happy and healthy, Bob has put a lot of time and effort now to raise awareness of about testicular cancer through his Have a Ball Foundation and tournament. And joining us this morning is Bob Hammer. Bob, good to see you again. We'll We're making this an annual, an <laughs> annual visit. I'm glad to be able to say that uh, things are going great with the tournament, huh? A little bit more uh, successful than we ever even imagined. Yeah. Uh, this year we're on pace to raise $196,000 in one day. We've got 56 corporate sponsors, uh, headed of course by Amgen, our title sponsor. Mm -hmm. um, 202 corporations involved in all and uh, over 300 participants and uh, the the greatest part of it is we're going to be able to send money to 20 to 24 different cancer organizations this year spreading the wealth so to speak yeah that's that's fantastic let's go back to tell us a little bit about your history in that you actually were set for surgery to treat your cancer and you just were told well, wait a minute let's put a stop to this yeah i, I had uh, raised uh, a little bit of money to go to the lance armstrong foundation i read lance's book mm -hmm. and uh, wanted to go down to texas to meet other cancer survivors and um, i had just finished 26 rounds of chemotherapy and uh, i was 31 bald white just stark white yeah and uh, ended up going down there and i ended up meeting lance armstrong's oncologist and he heard my whole story and he said uh, you know i'm not sure you need that surgery at stanford mm -hmm. um, i think it's just scar tissue if you have that surgery you uh, might not walk again it was a little scar tissue was on my spine yeah he was more concerned about that but um, you definitely won't have any more children i just had my our daughter shana she was one year old at the time right and uh, ended up faxing some stuff to him Next thing you know, we ended up not having the surgery, and my wife Kim and I conceived our son a year later. To be told at the age of 31 that you may not have any more children, I mean, that is a sobering, uh, sobering yeah, a thought. A little bit of an eye-opener. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's, what's your, what's your um, lesson here for others? Um, to get, to get a you second know, as opinion? You know, a 31-year-old, and you go to the doctor, and, and you just think, like, the doctor is God. Yeah. And, oh, okay, the doctor says, do this. Okay, we need to do that, but... Um, Always have a second opinion, always have a third opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, with today's technology, go to Google and do a little bit of research. If you get diagnosed with, a, with a, any kind of disease, right. do some research on your own and, and try to uh, tread through the waters uh, mm -hmm. without just going, oh, okay, I'll just do whatever the first person tells me. Right. Kind of uh, take charge of your own health, so to speak. Yep. Uh, which leads us to the next uh, question I had for you. What can, what can young men do to, to kind of raise awareness for themselves? about this type of cancer? Well, the, the testicular cancer actually targets young men ages 14 to 29 is the, is the target market. Mm -hmm. It's the leading health cause of death for young men between the ages of 14 and 29. Um, just knowing your body and being able, being able to be comfortable to talk about your body with mom mm -hmm. um, about that area. You right. know, I'm trying to get to the point where um, Oprah Winfrey had 400 women expose their shirts and have their bras to be able to do a mammogram, right? Right. Um, well, you can also have a ball and talk about this disease mm -hmm. and be able to be open about it and talk with your parents and let them know that there might be a problem. Um, when you're 14 or 15 years old, that's the last thing you want to talk about. Right. Especially with your parents. Especially with your parents. But yeah. if there's a problem... Um, what are some of the warning signs? Um, pain or uh -huh. a swelling yeah. if, in your testicles. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's back pain if it has if it has spread. I had back pain when it when it came back. Um, those are the would be the three leading causes or okay. the three leading triggers to if something might be a problem. So be more aware and be yeah. willing to talk to, talk yeah. to someone about it. I want to let people know about the tournament because it is scheduled coming up uh, Friday, July 22nd, yep. and that's taking place in Sunnyvale, right? That one is in Sunnyvale. And then you have another one taking place in Danville, just to show you how how uh, popular this has become and just how yep. much the need is there. And that's taking place in September on September 19th. And for more information, all you have to do is log on to Have a Ball Golf. Dot com. So nice to see you again, Bob. Thanks, Marty. And nice congratulations on the Thank continued success. All right. And we'll be right back.